Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know. It's, um... We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. Some type of truth is being communicated here with the Ace of Swords. Some type of truth or a breakthrough. Clarity. So I did see the magician with the three of pentacles. So somebody could have been learning magic and doing magic. We have the hermit too as well. Somebody was doing something spiritual to cause some sort of instability. And that is the truth. That is the breakthrough. Um, somebody is still going to have fulfillment anyway. So if you've been going through um, being tied up with people, life, money, you know, any type of stresses, you know, going through them ups and downs, um, you will have satisfaction and, and prosperity, okay? Somebody was communicating things on you for this to happen to you. Yeah, somebody was trying to block you off and hold you back. Somebody was taking a risk here to cause you deep unhappiness, and they was teaming up with others to do it. It was a team effort, this King of Swords. King of Swords, Magician, and I, I told y'all I seen the Three of Pentacles when I was splitting the deck, and that they was doing this to get some sort of victory here. Um, so there were people who was working together on you to block you off, block off your energy, steal your energy, um, and hold you back. This was the risk that was being taken, but you were spiritually resilient here. You could have dealt with, had to, you know, deal with a lot of things and overcome a lot of things, but um, you did. You learned a lot from it. You got the victory anyway, but um, Somebody could feel remorseful or guilty or be deeply unhappy because the part that they played in teaming up, causing this instability for you. So somebody could be focusing on the past and then regret because of the part they played in to try to keep you stuck and to sacrifice you with the hangman. Because these people was dedicated to doing whatever this was to you. Yep, they were uh, with the seven of cups. They was trying all types of multiple options and possibilities to do this to you and how to try to block you off and block off your opportunity. Seven of wands, this was an attack and it was strong too with the strength because all these people linked up together. But you, you made a decision to accept the offer to, you, you made a decision to still be you. <laughs> you made a major decision to trust in the divine. You made a choice to still follow your heart. You made a choice to still be mature. You made a choice to still be loyal to you. You made a choice to be loving, supportive, nurturing, and healing to yourself. 
you took the initiative here. You accepted the challenge even while these people was doing this stuff to you. You accepted the challenge. And for that, you're going to be in the Ten of Cups. And you're going to, you chose to expand and grow and work hard. <coughs> Is what you chose to do. Confirmation. That's what you chose to do to still follow your heart. You ain't let this turn you. You ain't let what you was going through turn you. Okay? And the divine could have let it go through to test you. But you still remain. You still remain. And it could have been even um, a soulmate of yours involved in trying to slow you down. King of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles. To the Seven of Swords. To the Ten of Swords. Ultimate betrayal to try to get a victory over you. A tyrant in your life. That you walked away from. This is seven. And this is seven. This is your seven. The lovers, the knight of cups, the queen of cups, the ace of wands, the ten of cups, the three of wands, and the seven of pentacles. This is what you got look, got to look forward to. And this is what you be in. Even with all of the stuff going on in the background with you. And then we have the king of cups, knight of pentacles, seven of swords, ten of swords. With the... Six of Wands, the Emperor to the Eight of Cups. This is what this person been on. And this is what this person will uh, be facing here. Um, very stubborn energy. This person was definitely persistent in backstabbing you, being an enemy, manipulation, uh, strategizing against you, being deceitful, being tricky, um, doing a whole lot of risky ass shit. Ultimately betraying you, backstabbing you, causing you pain, wanting you to be at rock bottom and collapse and be in a dead end. Then this motherfucker got the nerve to try to play victim. This person wanted to triumph over you and wanted to be in this emperor status or whatever the fuck. Like they the authority, but they're not. Uh, they're actually a tyrant and you abandoned this person or this person could have even abandoned you. But this is what this person will face in their life. They're going to face pain, being at rock bottom, being completely ruined. Um, because of the divine is going to triumph over their ass. See, it was trying to triumph over you, but the divine is about to trample and triumph over their motherfucking ass. This person thought that they was going to hear some good news and get some good news by what they was doing to you. It could be about three men, a king of swords, a king of cups, and a king of pentacles. Three men. Three foolish men, not three wise men, three motherfucking fools. Coming up against a motherfucking woman. Little bitch boys. Yeah, this 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 King of Pentacles um, was wanting to hear some type of good news from this bondage that they wanted you to be in. Ten of Wands, stressed, overburdened, and worry in the struggle. Nine of Wands, this person part of your past struggles here. This person was persistent in causing chaos in your life too with the Five of Wands. Who the fuck is these three fools? These, this was they plan though. Page of Pentacles, because they about childish as fuck. They coming out as three kings, but these motherfuckers childish as I don't know what. Childish ass little boys. I don't give a fuck how old they is. But you had three men that wanted to cause a struggle and instability in your life. That was their wish fulfillment. Three motherfucking losers. These is three motherfucking losers. Sorry ass little boys. Childish as fuck. And one of these mother... <sighs> I wouldn't want nobody to have no... Somebody got a crush on somebody. Let's see. Do, do one of these men got a crush on this woman? Oh, crush gone wrong. And then, 
What's crazy is one of these people got a crush on you. That's the wildest shit. That's what's wild. One of these motherfuckers got a... It's crushing. But trying to... <laughs> but trying to end you. Oh, what is going on, man? I feel like talking to, uh... Talking like, um... What's his name from Off of Friday? Why can't I think of his name? <laughs> what's going on with your kids today, Pops? Because what the fuck is going on? I don't even know what the pool. <laughs> That's how I'm just like, I don't even know what to with the pool or even with the with the what because why why it ain't even no reason no rhyme or reason why Salty vibes. These motherfuckers salty. But the big payback. These these people gonna have to pay that ticket. They wrote a check. They ass can't cash. So they gonna get karma for this. Whatever they was doing. Friends ganged up to assault you. Somebody a whoremonger, promiscuous men, mad. They also mad because it's levels to spirituality and you on the next level. You had a breakthrough. Oh, because you won't settle. Because you won't settle. Okay. This is back up front here. The big payback. They gonna have to uh they gonna have to pay for that though. Whatever they was doing. Smear campaigns and shit. They gonna have to pay for that though. Adult bullies. Adult bully bullies. Childish as fuck. This these Take people to, you know, have a crush on you and pull your hair and trip you and, and, and bully you and try to fuck you up because they like you. <laughs> oh, man. One of these people want to be you. Oh, shit. One of these people want to be you. One of them got a crush. One of them want to clone you and shit. They should think about picking somebody up before trying to put somebody down. One of these people, it's only one you, and one of these men want to be you. Uh, uh, uh. If they don't know your dreams, they can't shoot them down. J. Cole. Mm, mm, mm. Can't bunch everybody in one. These people could think, these people could be mockers. These people could think like maybe all women the same or something like that. And they try to bunch everybody in one. Okay. This is chestnut checkers. These people was playing checkers. Thinking they playing chess. But things is going to come full circle no matter what. No matter how you cut it, things are in definite divine order. Yeah, somebody compete. Ha, never. These people think many spells. These people think that, it, I guess they, I mean, I guess they, they thought it was competition of the spells or something. I don't know. <laughs> but these people was doing many spells. One of these men was trying to compete with you and shit. 
did these men think that this feminine was doing spells on them or something? Oh, they didn't turn this shit into a competition, a, a, a spellbound competition. Was this feminine doing spells on these men? Nope. Whatever was going down with y'all was because of whatever y'all was doing. This person wasn't even doing those spells on y'all. <laughs> like, these, man, I'm sick of people and they actions, okay? I'm sick of this shit. This person was saved from whatever the fuck y'all was doing here. This person could be a, a, a high priest or priestess. They are of the light, light energy. And it was great attacks on this person's spirit. And they still smile anyway. You motherfuckers been living off of somebody else's essence and shit. Trying to motherfucking compete. This ain't no motherfucking competition. Y'all was fucking with a spiritual gangster. Y'all about to find the fuck out. That they ain't even got to do nothing. Look, no hands. <laughs> no hands. Pure spirit. Moving for you. Spiritual love and grace. Okay, this person was out the way. No hands. They ain't have to do shit to y'all. That's the that that's that gangster shit. <laughs> the divine was moving on their behalf. So y'all was playing checkers and the divine was playing chess on you motherfuckers. Y'all need to learn how to check y'all motherfucking selves before y'all call y'all self trying to check another. This person could have been trying to teach y'all motherfuckers a little something. Yeah, y'all was trying to judge this person, but it's the opposite, opposite to everything that the divine has made. We have marathon. Okay. Marathon. Let's just keep going and going and going. We have Yahweh, Adam, the gardener. Yahshua, after he rose from the dead like a gardener, planting seeds, plan purpose pattern. So whatever y'all did, uh, this person rose up. Whatever y'all was doing, we got pool music. So we're going to pull some music too as well at the end of this. Y'all was trying to hold on too tight to this person. Y'all was abusing substances too. Look, this could be me. Because the last message was about me with the, with the dream message. Me. You can't block them, you can't guard them, you can't stop them, get crossed up, Yahweh, ha, swish. So, and then right after that, don't you dare hang your head low, chin up, chest out, babe. So we have me, which is my car. This is a little bit about me. Phoenix, dove, that's what Yana means, dove. Life path number nine. Ayasha, the divine son, even though I'm a feminine, I'm his son and his daughter. I'm a Pisces, on the Pisces, Aries cusp, North Node, Sagittarius, my rising and my moon, Aquarius. I got Libra in my chart in the place where I will get justice. I have every sign in my chart. But I guess this is about me. Okay. I guess these messages is about me, but I'm going to still upload them. My nose was just itching when I said that. I'm going to still upload them because maybe y'all can resonate with, resonate with it too. I'm pretty sure that y'all didn't have adversaries and people to try to come up against y'all in y'all life. And I know that for a fact. Because you have it within yourself. And what's on the inside of you, it shows on the outside of you too as well. You're going to experience that. That's why the divine is here to save you from yourself. Because you have that even within yourself. It's how you are made. So is this message about uh, three men coming up against me?
So I got three men trying to trying to guard me, block me, stop me. Okay. All right. Yes, we splitting the deck. Don't you dare hang your head low. Chin up, chest out, babe. Devil, devil, high priestess in reverse. This right after that, but there are some high priest and high priestess devil energy. These could be these men. They stink. Your thought process stink. Your character stink. Your spirit stink, and your attitude stink. Leave me alone. But splitting the deck is this beautiful love Yahweh has for us, letting us get to know Him plus more. We get to read, so we get to learn. We get to witness, so we get to see. We get to live, so we also get to do. And that's what it's about. It's about the divine. We got to call your power back. And I've been doing that. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Follow your heart. What's your heart saying? This is all part of the divine's purpose plan and pattern here. Nothing is out of order. It says here, doing spell work or sending hate, you will have to answer to that. Even if you think you're protected, you can't hide from the almighty Yahweh. So whatever you've been doing on me and you think you and you think you protect it, you're not. Lover set you up to be assaulted. So somebody could have been trying to set me up and shit. Want want to get me assaulted and shit. Get out your feels. Y'all around here backstabbing and betraying the people that love y'all over penis and vagina. How low of a person are you? So People stabbing me in the back. People that I love. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just know, whatever you're doing to me is what's going to manifest in your motherfucking life. One, one, one. So go on and manifest it in your life then. I don't give a fuck. And it's no love lost. When I love, I love and that's what it is. But fuck you. <laughs> I love you, but fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. And again, this is not what I am doing to y'all. This is what y'all are doing to yourself by steady trying to fucking come at me. So that's what's going to manifest in y'all motherfucking lives. And no, I don't give a fuck because you must learn. If that's how you got to learn, then so be it. Oh, shit, we don't know shit. Y'all don't know a motherfucking thing. Y'all thought y'all did. Because I don't know what's with people trying to battle me. and da, 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 da. I don't do spell work. I don't got to do that shit. The only thing that I ever did that I considered spell work was... Y'all know them little leaves, what they call them, bay leaves, and then you write your manifestations on there? I've done that. Other than that, I manifest and I pray. I manifest and I pray, and it ain't against nobody. I don't do that. I say my protection prayers. But I don't do nothing against nobody because I wouldn't want nobody to do nothing against me. I don't do that. I don't have to do nothing. As you can see, no hands. How no hands came out because of the divine will move on my behalf because I don't do that. I don't look to hurt people. Even when even when people do stuff to me and hey, I might come across my mind, I might want to fuck you up, but I ain't going to do it. Because that's not my heart. Even if you piss me off. I'm going to just pray about it and move on. I must have put it back in the deck. But that did come out. No hands. Because I ain't got to touch you. Oh, there it go. No hands. Pure spirit moving for you. Spiritual love and grace. That's what I got. 
I got the best love that you can have in this entire world. And it ain't even, and, and, and then y'all be in competition and shit like it's not something that you can have. That's because y'all don't want it. But do not come at me because of what you lack, because you lack it because of you. Because the most high doors is open. Fucking with me is like fucking with yourself. So, go ahead. Shit. It's like you hitting yourself. Up, oh, gotta pull from the friend or the foe deck. Blood thicker than water deck. More from this deck. So, family, friends, lovers. Oh, yeah. Try to destroy what loves you. Because y'all don't love y'all selves. Opposite sex rivals was at the top of the deck after that. But you're just going to destroy yourself, you non-believers. Anything else from this side? Opposite sex rival again. All of this shit that was being done was calculated. And then these people try to walk around, look. All this shit was calculated. And then these people try to straighten up and put on for the outside world. These people are devious and fucked up. The divine know what the fuck y'all be doing. Y'all are fucked up. And ignorant. Be trying to give false info about me and all of that. We have supernal nature, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, heavenly, erythral being. <laughs> Y'all like to mess with supernatural. Y'all trying to mess with supernatural shit on somebody that's supernatural. Everything and everyone is Yahweh. Just some are unaware of it. Y'all getting in y'all own way. Y'all need to watch out. Alarm. Time to wake up. Because y'all are misinformed. Chaotic, perfectly put together mess. Yeah, this is self-hate. Y'all hate y'all selves. But it's very, very important to be patient with yourself while you're trying to heal, understand, and grow. Yeah, no knowledge of spirit. You ain't got shit respectfully. So y'all think y'all got it all, but y'all don't have no knowledge of, of Yahweh. So y'all ain't got shit because Yahweh is everything. How can you not include the creator? This is a spiritual age. This is spiritual. You just see physical things because you cannot see spirit. Look, you got plenty of snakes in your grass. Mow the lawn. Strangers outside of the grass. And then lovers, family, and friends all in the grass. But y'all, I done already cut y'all. I guess I got to do some more chopping. Okay, these people are judgmental to healers and prophets and etc. But just know that y'all think that healers and prophets and shit is devil energy. But these individuals had to go through things so that they can help you. How can somebody come to you and tell you about your darkness or tell you where you've been or tell you how you hurt or just identify with what you're going through if they ain't never felt it or been through it? You judgmental motherfuckers. See, the divine ain't gonna put nobody in y'all face that he hasn't tried himself or put through anything to learn and grow. Somebody commented up under one of my posts was like, how you so young and so because I've been going through it since. <laughs> oh man, you gotta laugh. I don't have to go through it since I got here, okay? Had to learn at a young age. And I'm thankful for it because I got to, through Yahweh, I got to know the meaning behind why I was going through everything I was going through and it molded me. It taught me. It grew me. You adopted the dark I was born in and I've been to hell and came through the light out and already came up out of hell. These people do things for the love of money. 
but scared of them deep waters, though. Fuck out of here. Okay? Miss me with the bullshit. And miss me with the bullshit and the judgmental bullshit. All y'all failed attempts here. Trying to cause money issues and shit. The whole nine. Something about dating app. Somebody did something calculated on the dating app or something. I know better nobody put, put, put me up on no damn dating app. I'm going to sue the fuck out your ass. <sighs> It says here, if Yahweh is for you, no one can be against you but him. So if the divine is for me, he the one who can be against me and, you know, do whatever he want to do because he made me, okay? Someone please call 911. That's what somebody... <laughs> Ooh, somebody might have to call 911 for something. Yeah, I better stop playing around. With stuff y'all shouldn't be playing around with. Let me pull from this friend or... Somebody could want to collaborate and do business. Somebody want to collab and work, and work with somebody here. I don't know if that's a good idea, especially if you... Somebody who's been stabbing me in the back. Yeah, so somebody be doing roots. One of my friends or foes, or you ain't, you ain't no friend, you a karmic ass friend, a lesson. But one of you motherfuckers been doing magic roots and evil eye against me. Somebody that I've been there for with this girl destiny child. Somebody that I've been there for and loved, poured into, doing roots and shit. <laughs> And everything they said was with their fingers crossed behind their back. Somebody that I could have been a dynamic duo with or something. Somebody that I inspired. Stabbing me in the back. Not surprised. Somebody that if I would have had a child, I would have made a godmom or a godfather. Family wouldn't make us no closer. They doing bullshit on me. Stabbing me in the back. You love what I do, but you don't love me. Okay, got it. Never there when it counts, but just there for the turn up. Okay, gotcha. Gotta watch my back. Got it. <laughs> Somebody want to be more than friends. Some this One of these people didn't hurt me and mess with somebody that I love to make themselves feel better. Because they ain't shit. Did it make you feel better? Did it make you feel good? All you, all you did was boost my self-esteem to let me know that anything that you can have that's attached to me boosts your self-esteem. So, you know who I am, right? Okay. All right. Let's keep going. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Y'all must watch. Somebody, I miss my friend. Go on ahead. If you've been stabbing me in my back. Because Toy Story, you got a friend in me. You had a friend in me, but I didn't have a friend in you. So go on ahead on, you user. Disrespect my name and character to the point of no return. Could even be a best friend trying to steal my style, personality, and shit. Got me in the group chat with your friends and shit. Orchestrating the demise. Like... If y'all don't stay the fuck away from me and get the fuck out of my energy and leave me the fuck alone, y'all are weird in competition and shit. And then at the same time, acting like you rooting for somebody, want to set somebody up to get robbed or jacked, sabotaging relationships to take my place, but it's only one me. They can have you, though. Shit. Anybody who want to do that, they can have you. They can have your devil karmic trifling low self-esteem piece of shit ass i will gladly exit okay gladly bye bye it could be uh somebody that i had as a friend it could be rooting for me or somebody was rooting for me but at the same time single white female single black female wanted to take my place Don't want me to shine. Like, why can't we both shine? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? 
Why take advantage of me and assault me? Dang, somebody I was always there for. <sighs> Y'all need help. Y'all need to go get fucking help. Somebody that I counseled. Somebody stole somebody's property. Somebody that I could have wanted to stunt with. Yep, karmically connected. Show admiration and love to everybody else but the one that's always there. I got it. I get it, I got it. Was this blood thicker than water? And like I said, I don't care how I'm connected. You could be a lover, a friend, a stranger, a family member. You fuck with me, you fuck with yourself. My soul family is my true family. I learned that and found that out. These people toxic as fuck. Family toxic. Family members from out of town, judgmental. Fuck off. Don't even know you motherfuckers. Fuck off. Y'all bad biz. Y'all for y'all bad business. These family members out of town, bad business. Fuck off. Best of part, of course. These people be hanging with the ops. Family be hanging with the ops too as well. People that I could have thought held great value in my life. No more get togethers. Don't care. So one fight they all fight. So it's some it's some in the family that got a tight, close knit unit or something. And I ain't fucking worried about that shit. Please understand that too as well. I'm worried about my empire and building, do and doing good business. And then y'all feel like I'm so poor and so middle class, but y'all in competition though. You weird assholes. There's also a friend that's like family that's doing this too as well. Weird assholes. Somebody gonna go to jail and prison fucking around with me. Or you will attend a motherfucking funeral. Give a fuck if you is my blood. That's what the fuck is gonna happen. Y'all like to show love privately and shit. Somebody like to control and make decisions with somebody. Yeah, that is not my family. That is right. And if y'all saying that about me, good. Because don't nobody want to fuck with you hateful ass motherfuckers anyway. Talking down on me, but don't even fucking know me. None of y'all fucking know me. But got the nerve to open y'all motherfucking mouth on me like you motherfucking know me. You hateful ass motherfucking losers. Praying together on me with an E. About weird as fuck. But that's alright though. Cause like I said, whatever y'all try to manifest against me, whatever y'all want for me, it'll manifest in y'all own life. And if y'all keep going against me, y'all asses will be in jail and in prison or who you love will be. Or y'all gonna be attending motherfucking funerals even if you my blood. Fuck you too. Cause I don't do nothing but show love. Somebody could have went out the country to pray together on me with an E. You weird ass bitches. Definitely should have went out the country to enjoy yourself. But you motherfuckers like to do shit for the love of money. And y'all be sleeping with each other partners and shit. But call y'all sticking together. Y'all some weird, lame, loser ass bitches. And I said it. Fucking cunts. Call yourself trying to set somebody up. These insurance policies and shit. Family secrets of rape and molestation. Dusty motherfuckers. Nothing but arguments, drama, and fights. That's all y'all do. Big fucking drama. 
anything else concerning blood thicker than water. Healthy, peaceful, fruitful, because I'm the black sheep. Oh, we got a root planter in the family that's a big ass hater. Hater alert, root planter, sacrificer, abuse. You pieces of shit. Healthy, peaceful, fruitful, black sheep. When I do get togethers, I'm a vibe. Or if I attend get togethers, I'm a vibe. I just be chill. And we got a motherfucker planting roots, sacrificing people, hater alert, abuse in many forms within the family. But like I said, I don't give a fuck what you motherfuckers do. Because fucking with me, jail, prison, in the dirt. And I don't give a fuck if you my blood. I don't care. Because you're not my blood. Feeling like that about me, doing shit to me, hating, being a motherfucking hater. No, fuck you, okay? Give a fuck who you is. Friend, family, stranger. Because I don't be on that bullshit. I, I give love. I show you love. Give love, get stabbed in the motherfucking back. Pulling no signs, don't need to. I am gonna pull some music because that did come out. I'm gonna pull some music, pull some grateful heart messages because it's always something to be grateful for, especially to be protected from people coming up against you. Um, I'm thankful for this gift to, you know, even know what's going on. I'm thankful that the divine takes up for me because even when I do this here, when I do this like this, that, that's the divine taking up for me for me to get to know what's going on here. Even if the divine do it through me, I'm grateful. Oh, that song right here. Rolls Royce, Love Don't Live Here Anymore. And you know what? I think I'm going to play that at the end of this uh, message. Because love don't live here anymore. I do love you because my love is true. But fuck you, family, friend, lover, stranger. Fuck you. If you doing shit against me in that manner, fuck you. Shit. And whatever you manifest for me, you're manifesting in your own life. I'm ready to great. Who harder? Because I ain't got to do shit for you. Or, ooh, well, I ain't got to do shit for you or shit to you. We got Earth, Wind, and Fire, Reasons, Alex Jean, Right Over Wrong. I guess people think that I got to be there and do shit for them since that's what you used to me being and always being there. No, I don't got to do shit. Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. Natasha Benningfield, Pocket Full of Sunshine. When I was doing it out of the kindness of my heart, I got spit in my motherfucking face. I ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. Fuck. You. And I mean it. I ain't got to do shit. Tupac, California Love, Tim's Free Mind. Rick Ross, Santorini, Greece. Bobby Codwell, what you won't do for love. Karma Records, Depression Relief, Affirmation. Shy from the trade is how you coming. Definitely how I'm coming. Fuck you. Shit. Kadeem numbers. Lotto pussy. Anything else? Prince when doves cry. Toy Story. Randy Newman, you got a friend in me. Babyface Ray, Six Mile Show.
I found the true friend. <coughs> and Yashua. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it's Yahweh's purpose that prevails. I thank and praise you, Yahweh, for you have given me wisdom and strength. Thank Yahweh for a gift that is too wonderful for words. Wasn't I just saying thank you about that? Okay, thank you for letting me know. That's the prayer that I woke up with. Thank you. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love and will. The faithful love of Yahweh never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. Because don't think I ain't clock what you little bitches was doing yesterday. I definitely caught that. But I still chilled and vibed out. Because whatever you manifest for me, you manifest for your motherfucking self. But it says here, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. I hope you all got a message from this read to be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace. Don't you know I miss you so and need your love?